Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a heat map uh, to avoid any disappointment I'm not going to be creating the heat map with SPSS I'm going to be using Excel um, Why is SPSS then open? Because I need to get a cross table So you need two programs actually to do this um, You'll be needing SPSS and Excel There is uh, also some ways of uh, using the syntax of uh, SPSS to actually do this um, but I just find it so much easier to just use uh, Excel. Alright, the first thing I need is a table and I'm going to be uh, creating a heat map of two ordinal variables. Um, what do you, um, how scientific do you think financial consultancy is and how scientific do you think accounting is? To get the cross table, analyze descriptive statistics, cross tabs and oops, uh, reset means it resets the whole thing um, and to find them I right click on any of the variables and sort alphabetical that way I can find them slightly easier you know what the question was formulated let's go to H how scientific accounting is into the columns and how scientific financial consultancy is goes into the rows. You can also do this the other way around in this case uh, because one might depend on the other I don't really think so, that both can influence each other click on OK and we should get a nice cross table this one. Right click copy and open Excel and simply paste the table in here All Right now to create the heat map the only thing you need to do is select the cells with the counts in them, excluding the total and, and then under conditional formatting, depending on how wide it is, it might look slightly different if I move this one up, it will look like this conditional formatting and then there is a small problem, so I'll put it back into the size conditional formatting and we want color scales and then the green to yellow, so it highlights the highest ones uh, in green and the lowest ones in red. Now, looking at this, um, it seems like there is some kind of a, a scale going up here, uh, and then we have a lot of very scientific and also not scientific at all, so uh, there in the cross diagonal it seems there is a uh, slope there so it appears as if uh, the, there is some kind of relationship the, the more you find it scientific uh, accounting the more you also find financial consulting uh, scientific so it seems that there is some kind of an association going on between these two which might not be so um, surprising uh, note that though here the cells have different heights so you might want to adjust that slightly so that they all have a similar height and similar width let me see if I put it up like this it should actually look pretty okay right that's it 